Welcome to the show. We have a very special guest. She is a very talented musician and she goes by the name of Ari. So please give a warm welcome to Ari. Hi. Hello, hello, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for having me. I'm so good. We're so glad that you came. Thank you for stopping by. Of course. You ready to give me some painting? <laughs> I'm ready to try. All right, awesome. So my first question to all my guests is, where are you from? I am born and raised in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, okay, Toronto. Cool. There's some amazing artists out of Toronto. There's a lot of, of artists that I feel like most people don't realize are Canadian and specifically from Toronto. What brought you out to LA from Toronto? Um, music, work, of course. Amazing. So what kind of music do you make? How would you describe it? I guess it would be pop, but a bit more of like a darker, sometimes alternative pop. I've definitely mm -hmm. sampled a couple different genres, whether it's like a bit of pop R&B elements or sometimes even pop rock with my last EP. What inspires you to make music? Why, why music of all the things? Music is the only thing I've, I've ever really been passionate about. I did sports for a long time when I was young. I was a very competitive athlete. I feel like that's kind of translated over into a lot of things I do, but especially with music. What sports did you play? I was a track athlete primarily, but I kind of did everything growing up. So you're fast. Fast, yeah. I was a sprinter. I did a pole vault and 100 meter hurdles. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Haven't done it in a while though. I should probably get back <laughs> into it. But, you know, music was the only thing that I ever really loved. One day I kind of just started singing and didn't stop. And I'm definitely luckier than most to have been able to kind of actually get into it and pursue something that I love. Most people don't get that opportunity. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you have any other musical artists who you look up to and look for inspiration? In terms of artist Billy, was Billie actually Eilish. the first first one to make me fall in love with an artist. The first time I ever heard her was live. I think she was like 16, uh -huh. 16, 17 maybe, and she just blew me away. I immediately went home, downloaded her whole entire album. It's the first album I'd ever fallen in love with like in its entirety as well. Since then, inspiration-wise, it's been her, Halsey, and then also Melanie Martinez is, is super stellar. I don't know if you know her. I don't, but those are three stellar answers. I love that. What about style? Tell me a little bit about your personal style. I guess much like my music, I'm still experimenting. I mean, I go from this, which is like all black, to to sweats on sweats. I guess I'm definitely heading in more of a witchy vibe lately. <laughs> so, I'm guessing Halloween is your favorite holiday? Yeah, by far. Oh, I should probably give this guy an eye. Sorry. <laughs> I like ADD. <laughs> no, the snake's actually fire. Thanks. Dope. I might just like keep the, it. The pattern. I might just keep it black. I might just be super moody. I want to ask you a couple rapid fire questions. So oh you gosh. gotta just kind of respond quickly, maybe one or two words. No favorites are hard because you don't want to choose. You just throw whatever comes in your mind. I'll try my best to be decisive. All right. What's your favorite movie? You started off with like the hardest one. There's so many genres. I'm just gonna go ahead and say Harry Potter. Harry Potter, ooh, I like that, good answer. What is your dream destination? Either New Orleans or Japan, or both. <laughs> Love that. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your Penny life. Penne pasta with tomato oh, sauce wow. and chicken. <laughs> oh my God, that was so <laughs> bad. You cut me out, that was awesome. What's your favorite candy? Sour belts, like you know the rainbow ones? Oh yeah, those are fun. That or Gushers. What is your favorite animal? Oh, I don't even have to say that. I already know. Snake? Yeah. Snake. I like what you did. My snake? Yeah, the color <laughs> makes it pop. Thanks. And I now like, that, we're like, we're that really working together here now. Oh yeah, mine's almost connecting. So what about fears? Do you have any fears in life? Fear-wise, I mean, I'm afraid of a lot of things. I definitely don't like failing. I think I got that from being an athlete. Like if oh, totally, I, totally. I, I was such a competitive person that like if I failed, I would lose my shit. I think I just didn't like disappointing myself or people, mm -hmm. especially now with, with music. It's definitely scary, you know, putting stuff out into the world for everyone to hear and judge, especially stuff that's so personal. Mm -hmm. So I guess my one fear is that I won't get to do the thing that I love. I don't want to fail. I don't think you'll fail. I sure as shit hope not. <laughs> so what about dreams? What's your 
biggest dream in life? Same kind of answer, I guess. To perform, to to just be able to do what I love. I mean, you want to express yourself. Oh yeah, there's there's so much that I I want to say. I've gained so much from music so many people have you know when you're sad you listen to sad music and i think it was my dad that said this a lot of the time sometimes we get so overwhelmed with emotion that we actually don't know how to feel and that's mm -hmm. why we listen to sad or angry music when mm -hmm. we're feeling either because it helps you express what you can't on your right. own Ooh, i love that and i think that's a beautiful thing and and i want to be able to do that for people Ooh, i love that it's beautiful maybe i'll just fill in the red yeah fill in the red yeah. why the heck not you're also going to fill in the red? Yeah. That's a good idea. At this point, I'm just kind of... Whatever. Doing it. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It looks good. It's a nice red. It's like cherry. Do you like cherries? I actually don't. I don't like most breakfast foods. Like I don't. Oh, like you don't eggs. like eggs? I don't like oh, eggs. Don't what like do you bacon. What for breakfast? Cereal or cake? <laughs> no way. I don't like pancakes. What? That's basically <laughs> fucking cake. Nah, but I like crepes. <laughs> That's like a thin pancake. Yeah, but they taste different. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. I know. This interview just got very interesting. It's been such a crazy year, hasn't it? <laughs> to say yeah, the least. Especially releasing music in a pandemic. It's definitely not the easiest thing in the world. I mean, music in itself already is is hard to get into, but there's a lot of odds against yeah, you now. Oh my god, I can only imagine. I mean, as an artist, how have you adjusted? I mean, everyone's doing different things, like there's Zoom sessions, and they're definitely harder, but I mean, I wrote Murderer, which is the song that's, that just came out on a Zoom session, and that's probably one of my favorite songs to date. So like, it, it is possible, it's just, it's harder. It's harder to connect to over Zoom, especially when you're working with uh, new people. Hmm, yeah, I can only imagine. So, do you have plans on moving out here at some point after all this madness is over? Eventually, yeah. People I meet in Canada are like no different than America, in, the, in a good way. Like, I feel like we're all we're so, so similar. It's the definitely, the especially in Toronto, it's definitely like the most American-like city, I feel like. Isn't that where, like, Drake and Justin Bieber are from? The weekend, yeah, the all weekend. of them. Uh, Jesse Reyes, too. Bless you, What's Cara. going on over there? What are you guys eating? Is it the cake in the morning? Or? Uh, maybe. It's There's a lot of talent coming so out of there. Cool. Toronto's great. Canada in itself. I think we're nearly done. And then my last question before you paint the last stroke mm -hmm. is what, what do you want the world to know about you? Or what, what, do you, what would you like to say to the world? Last words to the world big right question, now? Big question. Yeah, big question. I think it's so important to never shy away from from who you are and it's it's so hard to be honest with yourself and and open and, and accepting especially when there's something you don't like if i could give one message is just be accepting you never know what someone's going through just because someone looks a certain way it doesn't mean they are what you think just give people a chance be willing to listen be open-minded and we'll go from there i think leading with kindness is never a bad way to go that's beautiful thank you that is a great great way to end this i thank you so much for for joining me today and for painting the beautiful <laughs> the snake, snake. Yeah. thank you for having me thank you, thank you thank you thank you thank you all right bravo yeah.